What do you want to do today? We got fire, baby! Look at them all! Yeek. I want to go for a swim anyway, so I'll put my mask on and I'll just drift behind the boat and we'll go for a little peek in there. There might be a big trout in there. If there's a big trout, we'll chuck the anchor in the sand there and I'll try and get him for dinner. All right, let's go for a swim, hey? I'll <laughs> we'll see you in the drink. Try this boss. Hello, Strider. Oh, it's a couple of blue bone down there. Don't know if you can see that in my GoPro footage just then, but a couple of beautiful sized blue bone for dinner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck the anchor in and I'm gonna suit up. The main reason I'm suiting up is because of your Gansey jellyfish. They're nasty little buggers and out here where I am by myself, if I get stung, uh, it's gonna be pretty touch and go. So I gotta put my, put my weddy on because they, they are renowned to be in this area and, I, and a few people do get stung throughout the year. So I'll suit up and chuck the anchor out in the sand and I'll just hover around the boat, you know, and it's only four to six meters deep here. So I'm by myself, I know. I don't recommend diving by yourself ever, but um, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm only in shallow and I'm gonna take it very easy and I just want a dinner, dinner fish. So let's do it, guys. Oh. How sick was that little dive, man? Crystal clear in here. Absolutely beautiful. Blue bone everywhere. So I dropped down and I just seen a couple of blue bone. They weren't really coming in close. I was only with Jackson's 1000, so I wanted to bring them in. Bit of sand up to cover me and to stir up a bit of noise, and they started appearing. I was lining up the shot to go under the ledge. And in the ledge, there was a big lemon shark, like an eight foot lemon shark, or maybe a nurse shark. I didn't quite get a look. Anyway, the blue bone come back over. Then another little reef shark come in, took the shot, got him in the head, got him in quickly. I looked down at my feet, and there is a monster barramundi cod. And, uh, just didn't need to shoot it, you know? So, that's, you know, just let it swim, whatever. All right, well, that is that beautiful here. I'm gonna uh, hop back in the water. <laughs> Ew. The 1000, that just, it's so good, man. Beautiful, beautiful tusky. Have a go at him. What a fish. So happy with that, guys. That's dinner, baby. <laughs> Let's go for a cheeky, quick free dive. I really want to go check that shark out, see if it's still there, and I'll film it. So hopefully he's still under that ledge. I didn't spook him or anything. Okay, 
Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> oh man, it it's never ever gonna get old being in the water. It's just it just does something to you. Hey, it's so good. Anyway, I'm gonna bring this anchor up and uh, steam around the corner. Hopefully, hide from this light breeze. I might take Strider for a swim, and we'll just go from there, huh? This is this is wicked. Day one, afternoon one. I only got out here about midday, so it's uh, three o'clock. And we're looking good, guys. <laughs> Just dropped a pick in a beautiful, beautiful bay. This is where Manstride will be spending the night. We're gonna go for a little bit of explore on the beach. Um, first, we're gonna put some zinc on, put some sun protection on, because it's starting to cook even though it's late afternoon. I don't know if we'll just spend the whole time on anchor. We might go for a fish before the sun goes down or go for another explore. But for now, I'm gonna get up on the uh, beach, go for a swim, go for a look around and see what we can find. Um, I might get the drone up soon. <laughs> Bring my laptop and all that to edit as I go tonight. So technically, as long as I don't run out of food or water, um, I can be here for days and days. I've got about a three night weather gap, I reckon, before the weather gets really bad. So I'd like to be gone before then. And on Wednesday, like a week from now or whatever it is, I don't even know what day I'm on, I'm on Friday. Oh, so Wednesday next week, I'm flying to the Northern Territory. Me and Jackson are going for an event for Tourism Northern Territory. <laughs> and um, then we're going on a helicopter or a plane going out to this remote island and we're going mud crabbing and barra fishing. So get ready for that guys. But in the meantime, we're spending some time out here. It's me and Strider. Gotta anchor the boat properly so we don't have to do any more swims. If I'm quick. Jesus, dude. Jesus, deep. Ugh, ugh. Oh, no. So, just got my spare anchor there, my main anchor out. Wind's pumping this way. So the idea is it's just gonna sit on the main anchor there. This is gonna be pretty loose. Whew. And when I need to pull myself in, I can just grab the rope and just do what I just did and pull myself in. So I might grab some of my stuff and go for a walk that way and see if I can go for a flick off the beach. Just go for an explore. It's absolutely beautiful at the moment. How sick this drop off? Oh, I'm a bit puffed. Oh. Turn around as I do. Oh. Absolutely beautiful right now. This is this is really really good, and I forgot my sunny. Damn it! Ah. I'm gonna have to go get them. I have to go get my sunnies. 
<laughs> I knew I forgot something. Doesn't really get much better than this, guys. This is this is the kind of thing that I live for, like literally just by ourselves at the moment. Cruising, taking it all in. I don't even care if I catch a fish or not. I just like being on the like on the islands doing whatever, you know. Go and get him, Shredder. He's down there. <laughs> No luck with the fishing, but I didn't really care. I just wanted to come for a walk anyway. It was an awesome walk. So nice out here. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna walk back to the boat and I'll see you there. And what we might do before the sun goes down, we might shoot across to another little island at the back there, go for a flick around it, just explore. I might get the drone up like I said before, and then we'll come back for sunset, set up anchorage and cook up a feed of blue bone. How's that for a bleak plan for day one? Well, yeah, so, and I literally got here at midday, so it's already bad. I wonder how much shit I'm going to be talking <laughs> by like day three if I stay out here that long. You're going to talk you guys' ear off. You guys' that's a new word, you guys' going to talk you guys' ears off. Oh, it's on fire! Oh, Eddie, it's on fire! Nothing better than a bit of exercise even when you're out in the boat. Hopefully I can sleep good tonight. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> oh, it makes it all worth it when you put that rope out just for that, getting back like that. And then I might just go for a swim anyway to grab that anchor. Whew, bit of exercise. I'm actually, I'm gonna lie to you guys, I'm pretty puffed. I ran a long way from all the way on that point over there. Couple of cheeky drone shots. That was awesome. What I'm gonna do is I might go for a quick flick and then just shoot back towards where I wanna to camp tonight. One, I'm hungry. Two, I wanna set up my little office tonight. I've never really done any full edits in the boat and I wanna turn this boat into like my home really so I can come out here more often and keep doing my work so I can pump out videos for you guys. There's three videos I got on the go right now, or two, I can't even remember actually. And then obviously the ones I'm filming right now, and then I wanna do a question and answer. I have no idea what order I'm gonna drop all these, I'm just gonna get right into it. So let's steam back towards that island, put the anchor out, cook a feed, and just sort the boat out, and I'll keep talking to you guys as I go. You can come with me on the adventure. <laughs> just pulled into the bay, put the anchor out, and there's one bloody big ass boat here. Damn it! It's all good. It's all good. I can't have it all to myself. Well, I wanted it all to myself, but a big ugly boat there. But um, anyway, let's uh, just cruise. I have no idea what. I really don't have a plan, guys. But I am getting pretty hungry, and it's like it's time. Six oh two on the dot. I'm definitely gonna drone that sunset. I know that. So we'll just start getting into it. I'm gonna fill it all that blue bone up, I reckon, and cook it tonight. So then I have uh, dinner tonight, probably breakfast tomorrow morning, and probably lunch out of that blue bone. If not, maybe more, I'm not sure. Ah, <sighs> starving.
Just sitting up here, taking it all in. The last bit of light. Just on Anchorage here. It's just all sand for here. It's about five meters deep. This beach is really good. It goes really deep, really quick. Um, the wind's coming this way, and then by later on tonight, I think it's gonna come this way, so I should be sweet. Oh, how good is this, guys, huh? <laughs> that sunset was ridiculous. I had no idea until I got the drone up there was that many turtles around on the other side as well. And full nesting mode. Um, oh, that's sick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna cook a feed up first. I'm frothing, everything's lining up perfect to pretty much start living out in my boat. This is stage one. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited guys. Hey? I'm pretty thankful and I know I say it a lot, but thank you so much guys for your support because without you guys, I wouldn't be out here right now. I'd be at home, I would've just finished our day work as a Sparky and um, it's pretty special. Thank you guys. <laughs> For some reason, the stereo system has decided to shit itself. So I've had no music this whole trip. It started making this crazy crackling sound through the speakers. And now it's literally not actually playing any sound through the speakers. So that's something for me to try and fix later on. But I'm pretty sure I might have forgot my toolkit, which is really bad. Just gonna drop the angles down so they're not using as much power. So I'll explain it. What's that one? I can't see. Yeah. So I'll explain a little bit how this works. So I've got the gauge up here. You probably can't really see it because it's dark. But those bars there indicate how much you're in the battery. I've got a big lithium house battery and two starters, one for each motor. And then if you come look up here. There's my solar panel. Obviously that cranks during the day, but obviously not the night. Duh. But worst case, like if I ever see them go all the way down, I just start the motors up and because it's a lithium battery, it will charge within like half an hour to an hour. It's really, really good. And this gauge is good. So just lost the bar up now. And we should be sweet now that we lowered those fridges right down. One thing you guys always want to do when you're on Anchorage is have an anchor light. It's just one light on top, not the nav lights, not the red and green. That's for when you're traveling. When you're pulled up in a bay and you're anchored, chuck that light on the roof. It's pretty much so a boat doesn't run into at night. You gotta get all the zinc off my face. Alright, so up front here, I've got two tubs. Um, two my, oh, <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> uh, this tub here has got all my accessories in it, so like my pants, cooking gear, and you know, oil, and blah, blah, blah. And this one over here is sort of my food. So I've got wraps and bread and a few chips and just um, emergency foods like uh, baked beans and stuff like that, just in case I never catch a fish, which. <laughs> And then I've just got my junk around the place, my sleeping gear, and um, um, I've got 240 power in the back. So I've got an inverter to go from uh, obviously 12 volt DC to uh, 240 AC so I can um, power my laptop, charge my drone, and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm sort of setting up as a semi uh, house out here, I guess you'd call it, because I want to keep working as I'm out here. Otherwise, Previously, I've had to keep going back into land to, you know, edit and do all that sort of stuff. Um, that's where it's at at the moment anyway. So, there's rumours of, there's rumours that I might want to put an aircon in the front here. That would be so sick in summer because it's literally like 40 million degrees. I'm going to open this hatch here, let some air in. Look how beautiful that is. Woo. Just gonna chop this bad boy up and uh, get stuck straight in it because I am so hungry, hey. Good girl. Huh? 
Wollen wir steuern? <laughs> All you kids out there watching this right now, you have to say this with me. Are you ready? One, two, three. We got fire, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I love this. You already know how good it is. If you haven't tried one of these wraps, get yourself some secret sauce, get yourself some green chip, get yourself some cheese, go get a fish, cook it up. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. So, I'm doing a. <laughs> Alright, so I want to set up this power for my laptop and charge my drone batteries and everything like that. So I've got the big kick-ass inverter down the back here. You can see it down there. Um, and what I want to do is I just got this extension there because for some reason they didn't plumb too, like they didn't put a socket outlet or anything at the front of the boat. There's nothing. There's not even 12 volt at the front. So, uh, and we have power. Before I come, I bought a fan. I bought a fan. I bought one for me, and I also bought a little one for Strider. Wherever she sleeps, I'm gonna try and set it up so it gives Strider a little bit of air. Check it out! <laughs> sick! To switch on fan, move switch from off to... Where is... Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. It's not too bad. Man, the amount of nights I've just slept on the beach with nothing before, this is so flash. I'm so excited. So I'm like set myself up a full den here. I got that fan cranking. I'm gonna have 240 power in here to use my laptop. I'm just put I'm just putting out this little sheet now to make it nice and comfy. <laughs> Alright, it feels like I'm having a sleepover or something. This is cool. I'm a little kid again. Check out my setup now. This is so sick. I've got the GoPro. <laughs> All right, I got my lappy, got some footage just transferring right now. Got the fan behind there. Got the 240 power just outside here because the uh, extension wouldn't reach. Got the drone charging. Pew, pew, pew. You see the lights there. The rest of your, oh, you can't really see that. Drone, drone out. Yeah, light. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start editing some more videos and whatnot throughout the night and keep up my workflow. Hopefully I don't go cross-eyed and get sick because staring at a screen in a rocking boat sometimes can be a little bit interesting. I've never been seasick in my life, so I don't want to start now. Um, Strider Dog's pretty much ready for bed, aren't you? And uh, yeah, I see you guys bright and early in the morning. Four. Good morning, everyone. Day two, baby. Time. 5.48. Hello, Strider. Good morning, Strider. Hello. Hello. Oh. Ah. Ah, well, what to do today? That is the question. Whew. 
I think at some point today it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Oh, Australia just yawned. At some point today I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, when I get up I'll go try and find some reception. Check the weather. Cook up a feed. Might do a little bit of work this morning because last night uh, I just didn't get that much done to tell you the truth. Beautiful temperature but I slept pretty good considering and um, this is the best part is waking up out here like a lot of people will be waking up now getting the boat ready and steaming for the next hour or so just to get out of here so I'm already beating them just got myself some bacon and eggs to go with the fish I cooked last night chuck in a sanger there you go, Strider. <laughs> That's pretty good breakfast, isn't it? Just sort of packing up the boat and getting it all ready from sleeping last night. And uh, yeah, it's pretty blowy this morning, but protected over obviously by this bay. Wait for the wind to drop, cook up the feed, and then we'll get out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Stuck that egg up. Look. No! Just reheating a couple of bits of fish from last night. Some blue bone. We're gonna make a nice bacon, egg, fish sanger. Fish sanger, baby. Fish sanger. Wow, this looks so good. Be a sea of trash, of course. How's that for a breakfast fish sandwich, man? My God. Can you hear that awful sound? I don't even have any volume on and it's making worse sound. It's this stupid thing here. But look how small the Allen key needs to be. I don't even have an Allen key that small, so I'm trying to break into it. Oh, nah, snap my knife. Packing away all the boat. <laughs> Strider. Strider's been waiting for this all morning. Oh! Oh! oh. Come on, Strider. <laughs> oh, how good is this, guys? Phew. Oh. <laughs> Got the whole place to ourselves. Phew. Let's go. Oop. Big turtle right here. Oh, she spotted me. <laughs> oh, she's interested for another look. She's coming in. No, oh, Strider's on the case. Chili. Oh, a doggy paddle. What do you want to do today? Where are you going?
I always get a little bit nervous swimming back to the boat along this beach because I always see hammerheads and tiger sharks. I'm not so worried about me, but a bit different with uh, dogs. The ladder's over there. Oh, wow. Oh. Go on. Well, the plan is I still want to go get a big GT. Now, last time me and D-Man, we didn't land a big one. I'm going to go back, try again. i got some secret lures. Um, if not, go for a swim. And then I'll come back here and I'll do a question and answer video. I posted an Instagram photo and I told you I was going to make one. So I'm not sure if you guys would have seen this or it's going to come. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to, when I'm going to drop it or how I'm going to edit these videos. boys. I seen this hit man. Just as I turned the GoPro off for this cast, it's about to pack it up. It's a good size trevally. I think it's a big gold spot. Good fish. Hopefully I can land it and I don't stuff it up. Where you going mate? Where you bloody going? Look at him! Get him straight back in the drink. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hit like a Mackie. Oh, oh. 100% Mackie runs. 100% Mackie. <laughs> Look at that little Spaniard. Oh, oh that is so sick. Oh! Good Spaniard, back in the drink for him. Off like a rocket. How good was that? That's exactly what I wanted to get, man. Well, I really want a big GT, but... Oh, when the Spaniards hit, they just, they run the hearts, hey. That little Spaniard got me really excited. So new challenge, I'm gonna head out wide and I'm gonna try either troll up or jig or cast for a big Spanish Mac. I'll sound some ground while I'm out there and look for good spots to dive with the boys. Obviously I can't do a lot of diving because I'm solo at the moment, which is all good, baby. It doesn't matter. I might go in shallower later on and just go for a free dive and a swim, might get dinner. I'm just winging it, hey, so. That's my new challenge at the moment. I've got the taste for a big Spaniardo. That 
was no joke like an 800 trout right on the side of the boat I dropped it you guys didn't even get to see it oh where they ever walked the plank without even hesitation ah bloody that was that was so bad that's the reason why I lost that trout straighten the hook right out both of them almost especially this one I'm never buying one of these jigs again. Pieces of shit. Oh. Got something. I'll quickly get those hooks out of him and chuck him straight back in the water. Yeet. Off like a rocket. <laughs> yeah, yeet. Oh shit. Oh! Oh my god, that's big! That is big! Oh! That's not a Mac tuner, is it? Oh, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. That is by far the biggest one I've ever caught or seen. Oh, I'll get him back in the drink. What a monster! See ya, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. Yes, he gone. Oh, oh this is insane. Oh, oh. Hey! <laughs> Saddle! Saddle! Not a bit, another good size tuna, boys! We're on here! This is insane bite at the moment! I'm so excited! Hi! There she is, Shady. Another beautiful specimen. Woo. Oh. 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 Another little barrel. Get 
trip. Cover the map and still ain't nowhere you can find me at. Journey through the mind of an insomniac. I ain't never sleep, staying ready. Keep an eye out for the fakes. For the snakes, roll the clip and I'ma pull it some shakes. Uh, never go to battle if you plan to lose. Life a game of chess, you gotta plan the moves. Middle fingers up, I'm not a fan of rules. Fighting for the right to live in peace and not like animals. Man, that wind just started pumping in and from the worst direction it's coming from the north. This is not forecasted, so when I get in closer I'm gonna go to my little reception spot and have a look at the weather. Let's go for a swim and then we'll check the weather and then we'll see what happens, baby. If it's absolutely blowing its tits off for the next few days, I'll probably steam back late this afternoon because it's just, you know, that's all we're about. But you never know until you look at the weather. It was meant to be good tomorrow and getting bad the next day, but I haven't looked for, for almost two days now. So we'll see what happens. Oh, shit. I'll never get hold of this swim to the beach. It's pretty much one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Whoa! Good gear. Good. Whoa! <sighs> Quick swim. Just looked at the weather. Shit house tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> And it's gonna blow up midnight tonight from the northwest, which is straight down the middle of this bay. And I don't wanna have anything to do with that at the moment. But it's all good, I had such a great time. Like a really, really good time actually. And it's time to head home. Couple of hours to head home. No fish to fill it. That's, a, that's, that's good, I don't mind that at all. And uh, I can get stuck straight into editing some more content for you guys. Thanks for everything guys, honestly, like for giving me the opportunity to do this kind of thing. Let me catch my breath. <sighs> no, I really mean it. And uh, if you like it, don't don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, get your merch youngbloods.co. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Me and Jackson are going to the NT in a few days from now. So, looking forward to that. Oh, I'm puffed. Thanks, guys. Yo.